So today, let's talk about Chatbase's activity page. While the new analytics page is the best place to monitor your chatbot's performance at a macro level, the activity page is actually the most powerful way to make massive improvements to your custom AI chatbots over time. There's a few key features we're going to explore in this video inside Chatbase's activity page that are essential to building smarter, more effective chatbots. So in this video, I'm going to break down the layout of the activity page, show you how to review chat conversations by using what we call the confidence score, and I'll show you how to effectively revise the AI's answers. If you have no idea what Chatbase is and you just randomly stumbled onto this video, Chatbase is the best way to build a custom AI chatbot trained on your own data in just a few minutes with zero code. You can connect your chatbots to Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, with our direct integrations, and you can also connect it to thousands of other tools using Zapier. If you want to sign up, go to chatbase.co to get started for free. All right, let's check out the activity page. So first log into your Chatbase account and you should see your existing chatbot. If you don't know how to create a chatbot, I'll link a step-by-step -step guide in the description of this video. So first click on your chatbot and you should see this playground page. Now go to the menu and click on the activity page. In this video, we're just going to focus on this page in detail. For the rest of Chatbase's features, go watch some of our full tutorials. So here in the activity page, you can see we have two pages in the submenu, chat logs and leads. Chat logs are a log of all the conversations your chatbot has across any of the connected channels. We store them here indefinitely for you. So you never have to worry about losing any of them. As you can see, we have two buttons here, filter and export. So to see everything else, let's click on filter. Now we have lots of options to work with. You can select a date range here to begin reviewing the chat log, a confidence score and a traffic source, a thumbs up and a thumbs down option, and also sentiments and topics. Let's talk about these in detail. So let's say I'm reviewing conversations from the last 30 days. The first thing you're going to notice is the green and red icons here. That is the chatbot rating the sentiment of the conversation. A question mark means unspecified and a dash is a neutral conversation. If we filter by confidence scores as well, it will actually highlight any applicable messages in red so that you can see what needs to be worked on. So obviously the first order of business would be to filter by negative sentiment and or confidence scores and review those conversations. This is an example, but you may find that the AI did not provide a helpful answer. When this happens, it's important to revise the answer. So let's do that. We see two things here, a purple number and a revise answer button. The purple number is the confidence score. The confidence score represents the level of certainty the AI has in its generated responses. If we open up the filter again, you can see how the scoring works. You want to aim for a higher score. Higher scores mean the AI has enough data to back up its response. A lower score means it is doing a little bit of guesswork. So the quickest fix for low confidence score answers is to revise the answer. Let me show you how to do that. To begin, just click the revise answer button. So this is a silly test message and the correct answer doesn't really matter, but let's just give it a better expected response. For example, here's the easiest way to do this. Copy the bot response and paste it below into the expected response field. Now remove the emoji and add another sentence for this example. Now click update answer. Now when the chatbot receives a similar message, it will know how to respond more effectively. All you need to do is repeat this process for low confidence score responses and your chatbot will become increasingly better at serving users. Now next we have sources. This is self-explanatory. If your chatbot is active on these other channels, you can filter by them. Whenever a user receives a message from the chatbot, they actually have the opportunity to rate the response and this thumbs down filter allows you to find those rated answers. This is another way to filter for responses that need improvement. You can see the red thumbs down emoji shows up here so you can easily locate these messages as well. This is a pretty high signal data point to monitor too because the user had to choose to manually downvote a response, right? Finally, we have topics. These are created by the chatbot, but you can actually add your own too. If you hop over to analytics quickly, we can click on topic, click view all and see those same topics. Then by clicking manage topics, we can add new topics and edit existing ones. This can be helpful as the AI is organizing chat conversations for you. Now for the last thing inside chat logs, for whatever date range you have selected, you can export everything. Click export and you have a few options. JSON is great for data analysis tools. PDFs is great for exporting an easily readable and shareable view and CSV is great for spreadsheets. Now let's quickly cover the leads page. Here you have the date selector like before 
and the option to export CSV and PDF. Ideally, you don't need to use this page very often at all because you have Zapier set up and these leads are already being sent to whatever CRM or lead management software you're using. To set that up, just go over to connect, go to integrations and click on Zapier. Super easy. All right, guys, that's the activity page inside of Chatbase. I hope this breakdown helped you to better understand everything going on in there. It is absolutely one of the best ways to easily improve your chatbot's performance. So do not ignore it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've still not joined Chatbase, head over to chatbase.co to create a free account and get started. I'll put a link in the description of the video. If you want to watch a full chatbot build from beginning to end, watch this video where I build a sales agent or watch this one where I build an AI persona for a podcaster step-by-step. Step. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Have an amazing day.